newly engaged. Got that Beyonce. Oh, I thought wild. you were just doing it to get all the eyes off the FDA looking into Prime. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna do it another. You let another guy f his wife for the entire internet to see. And Where do you draw the line? I'll yeah, draw the that's... line when Adam commented on my Twitter picture. That let her sleep with another dude. <laughs> Every time I've been arrested, it was for some stupid. <laughs> even if they got the wrong guy, which is what happened. Every one of my arrests, they got the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta so, say something about Bradley. I think you're getting lame. You're running your mouth about my brother. I'm inviting you to come to Puerto Rico, and I will spar you, and I will get you. I love that noise. I like that one. You know what noise I love more? Mmm, <clears throat> got me feeling like a cowgirl. Ice cream's Bro, so good. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab, grab, grab. Mmm, hat emoji. Ice cream Thank emoji. Thank you, baby. Mm, Thank, Thank you, baby. Mm, Thank got me you, feeling baby. like a cowgirl. Thank you, baby. Mmm, mmm. Ice cream's so good. That girl? Bro, that what girl? is that? Pinky Doll is her name. She's what's called an NPC streamer. Yeah. She goes live on TikTok. I, I watched one of them. 70,000 people, pathetic people, including <laughs> myself, watching this girl go, mm, got me feeling like a cowgirl. Yes, ice cream's so good. Yes. This girl streams. So here's how this works. She, first off, welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the, in the world. Nice. <laughs> in the world. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. This girl, she uh, is what's called a non-player character live streamer. So she acts like AI or like a video game character. And she has these sayings when people send in emojis and the emojis represent real life money. Mm -hmm. So this chick's making bank. $7,000 a day. Respect? I mean, it's weird, but it's fucking respect. There's been maybe a half a dozen to a dozen times over the past two years where I've said to myself or even on the show, this is the bottom rung of, <laughs> of, of, our, of our species. Yeah. We cannot get any lower. And every single time I say that, we, we, the next time I say it is about 40 rungs lower. Like we are, we are becoming, we are becoming dumber <laughs> by, the, by the day, bro. Have you seen, it's have it's you horrifying. Have you seen the copycats? They're not as good. Yeah. She's really good at it. It's just crazy how many people are just okay with doing that. Yeah, but I mean, they're making money. She, like, I'm not even, I would bet you that she doesn't even know what the fuck is going on. And we were talking about this in the car. How do you realize you're good at that? Like, how did she land on that? It is a niche talent. I'll yeah. give her that. And I saw that she was getting mad about all the copycats. And she made a video where she was mad and arguing with that sort of like AI voice. <laughs> and that shit was dope where she's like actually leaking in her real personality. Well, because now Speed was doing it, right? And Kai Sanat was doing it. They were doing streams as well. And, you know, they, they're actually talented. Like both of them are act actually super entertaining. So you add their natural talent to this new NPC niche. But it, it, I think as long as we keep uh, justifying and using the metric of she's making so much money and that just makes things like cool mm -hmm. or like shows that you have talent because you're able to make money off something, we're, we're just going to continue to be doomed. You can make money off of anything. You could rile up a base telling people that fucking, you know, Hillary Clinton murders people. I, you know what I'm saying? Like you can get people to pay for anything. Yeah. But who is paying for it? That's, that's the, the question because why? <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? Why? Know. Is it like the anime community? This thing is just... It's th this podcast has been set up perfectly. The couches are nice. I like my pro proximity to Mike. Yeah, it's cool. We yeah. get to rekindle our friendship yeah. every, every week on this on for the show. one hour live. Yep. <laughs> uh, but this one, this Mike just just got blasted. Um, no, who who's 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 paying for it? Who are these people? Is it the anime community? Is it is it the um, the like the fetish community? Fetish. I think people want to fuck robots, and they they see it's hot. It's hot how she does that voice. <laughs> are you one of the people that pay? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how to pay for that. That's stuff. what I was gonna say. What do you, what what's the deal on TikTok? You send little gifts or ribbons or something like that. Like how do you how do you pay on? How do on you get it? your credit card attached? Get to, who knows, dude? Who knows? <laughs> you want to do it? No, because <laughs> money going around might get it on it. <laughs> oh, I would do an NPC stream for sure. Mm -hmm. Do you go you go like this while yeah, you, you do it? You, yeah, like, you have to like, rock back like, and forth like, like the NPCs. Like in you're floating. Grand Theft Auto. Also, I asked Kevin because I, I noticed I saw a couple of her clips. She's holding like what looks like a hair straightener. And I said, what is, why is she always just holding this little hair straightener? This is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm about to say this, dude. She puts a popcorn kernel uh, yeah. in the hair straightener. 
So for the people who aren't paying, they have something to look forward to when the popcorn kernel pops. <laughs> she popcorn. makes one popcorn. Yes, to keep people's attention. It's like it's like it's like Jenga almost. Like the stakes are increasing as they're watching and they're waiting for that popcorn to pop. And she just has a, a pile of popcorn in front of her for these live streams. We're in a we're do, in a do dark you want to do you want to know what I like about the fact that the content like that is getting popular? Every time there's this new niche or or mindless. Uh, content that comes out it continues to make us this show look like it might be intellectual like people now look at like i disagree no no no. i would say it looks like we're in the stone age no 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 that girl's no, eons we're like ahead. yeah she's, i know you're saying AI. do you feel what i'm saying youtubers are like, now the ogs we're like jay-z and like biggie <laughs> no legit dude when we first started the show people watching they were like yo these have to be some of the dumbest people on the planet and they're not uh -huh. wrong yeah yeah but now sure. because of how much society continues to deviate from those norms and just and just I mean I mean you go on it on the internet on any website whether it's the MPC stream whether it's fucking woke Twitter whether whether it's right fringe Twitter it doesn't matter these people are so stupid that they make us look like geniuses like when I sit here right now I feel like we're creating an educational program I wouldn't say that look you sent me a 1.5 minute voice memo the other day mm -hmm. about how excited you were to buy your own personal wacky wavy inflatable arm man mm -hmm. that's stupid too yeah that's, that's what, real well, dumb it just anytime you say the word education i kind of because of that cringe a little bit i, I know think. some things i've been around i've been on this planet a long time I got a liberal arts degree associates i know but i was just sitting there listening <laughs> to my 38 year old male friend talk about how excited he was to buy his own personal wacky wavy inflatable arm man and i said what are you doing? I don't think anybody out there is going to find any kind of wrong in that. If, if, you, if you are driving by a car dealership and you see one of those things and the first thing you think to yourself isn't when I, when I make it, I'm going to put one of those in my backyard. You're a fucking <laughs> idiot. Are there not, is there anything cooler in the world than those things? Those things are amazing. Imagine coming home and having one of those greet you every day. So you sent him a, a, a minute and a half message about that? Yeah, dude, a minute yeah. And a half. That's probably why he don't answer you anymore. He, he hasn't been answering my FaceTimes lately. I would say four, four, the last four in a row were went on answer. He's newly engaged. Got that fiance. Yeah. You know, got got it. Got to pay attention to the love of my life. Congratulations, congratulations! Thank I you, can't man. believe it. Right now is the first time we're saying congratulations. You know. I can't believe we were in a hotel room with you for hours the day before you did that. Nobody. <laughs> I, mean, I, w I almost said it on the podcast. Oh, yeah. I almost told you guys that I was going to propose to her. But the issue was, what if something went wrong? What if I had to pull an audible and reschedule, which we did end up pushing mm -hmm. it forward a day? And uh, also, man, I've lived my whole life in front of the Internet, essentially, or at least like my adult life where I became an actual human with real visceral experiences. And this was one that I did feel like sharing because it's, you know, the next chapter of my life. And this person is the most important person to me in the world. And I would like to at least introduce her to my audience. She might be coming on this show today. We're going back and forth on it, but maybe. Um, and that's, it's, that's a big step. That's, and it's scary. And I wanted it to come out when we wanted to announce it. We were both ready. We had both made the decision. And I felt it would have been a little premature to like air it before we were announcing it. And, and, and also, someone at the fucking hotel we were staying at leaked, leaked it. it anyways. And was oh, trying so to. Oh, so she knew? Who? No, 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 no. After, after. Oh, after, okay. After I proposed. They, dude, they took a video. They tried to like sell it to TMZ for ten thousand well, dollars. Yeah, that's they how we eat, found out. They, that's how we found out from TMZ. <laughs> oh, sorry. Like this has to be fake. No, not him. I Facetime him. <laughs> he did. He Facetime me. I was in Ibiza, dealing with another funny situation with Dave and one of his exes who I ran into. I want to. I want to back this up for a second and ask you about this. I watched that video that you put out on YouTube. Uh, I've been seeing it on a lot of girls' close friends' stories over the past week. Um, girls are hysterically crying their eyes out watching this video. Uh -huh. you, 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 <laughs> so was you, I, dude. You, bro, as a, I, I want to say this, you know, you know, more than just a yes man, I like to believe that I'm analytical in saying that you're one of the greatest storytellers in, in the history of YouTube. I think you always have been that, and I think everybody would agree with that. And this video specifically was uh, an incredible adventure through um, this this beautiful and blossoming relationship that you and Nina have. 
uh, leading up to this this moment uh, in Italy where you proposed. And I want to ask you about that moment because watching it and seeing the complexity of uh, all the things that happened, uh, you had a Polaroid going off, you had a video being taken, you probably had GoPros, you had 40 different things going on at once. Did any of that lead to the fact that you went down on both knees instead of one knee? <laughs> and was that planned or did you, when you got into the kneeling position, no. did you feel like you may have accidentally messed up? I, I, I did get down on one knee, Mike. It was when she came down on both of her knees oh, that I went down on both of my Got knees it. Okay, so you met her. That was that, so that's even cuter. It's cute. Yeah, that is cute. It cute. Did you okay? Because <laughs> I've I've really analyzed this. Yeah, Clearly not. not. <laughs> Clearly not. Because because I want to ask you this. Um, did you feel? Did you know that you were going to get that emotional? No, no. I knew I was going to get maybe a little teary eyed. But man, first off, let me say I I appreciate you for noticing the complexity of, of, of this proposal. Bro. Having to do this with a girl as astute, Aware. keen, observational yeah. as her is hard as it is. The girl fucking notices everything. It's part of the reason I love her. She's my eyes when I'm not paying the fuck attention, which most of the time I'm not. You know, I can, I can trust her intuition. I can say, what do you think about that person? What do you think about this situation? What's your opinion on this? And it comes from a place of... of knowledge and experience and having um, a, a, bit, a bit of wisdom that I appreciate. Um, but having to film it made this a thousand times harder, especially the way I wanted to film it, you know? I, I knew that I would like to at least make a video out of this. I didn't know if I was gonna share it because I would need her to be on board for that because again, it's emotional, it's vulnerable. This is a girl who doesn't love being and sharing media, online. Like yeah. she just doesn't. She she tells me she's like I don't I don't care to be famous. Like I happen to have done these things that have put me in this position, but like I don't want people knowing my fucking business. Mm -hmm. I just want to be your fiance and be like a, a supportive girl, not like be an internet couple. And I and I love that about her. Mm -hmm. But I'm a fucking dirty little internet slut. <laughs> and so I I got the fucking 400 millimeter lens, Kevin in the second story window, shooting in 4K. I got an iPhone going. I got a Polaroid going. It was spy glasses. You should have spy glasses. On. <laughs> spy glasses. <laughs> yeah, My little button camera. Right <laughs> yeah. Nah, dude. I, I I had I was I was mic'd up. I set a second iPhone down on, on the ledge just in case my mic wasn't working. I I had to minimize any risks of this slipping up. I had to uh, make sure there were a limited amount of variables, which is why I didn't tell a lot of people beforehand. You know, is it, is that why you wanted us to come to Italy? No. Oh, I thought you didn't want us to be there with you. You were, or were we just another variable? No, 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 no. I th I thought I thought I thought maybe after I did it, it would be cool to talk about having just done it on, uh, a podcast. on the podcast. But yeah. you did not because you wanted us there like to be like as friendship. No, I absolutely not. OK, no, I prefer you stay far away. <laughs> yeah, it's probably smart. You didn't tell us, though, because we would have definitely leaked it. Dude, I'm I just happy. I couldn't, I couldn't, I I'm happy in this moment. I just realized that I now have like another like bastard little brother. Like yeah. me and you both are like the outcasts from yeah. Logan's life, but we have each other. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like me and you have each other now. And he knows that we would have fucking sold that info to TMZ. A hundred percent. I would have sold everyone. You could, you could make 5K. I would have a podcast come out, <laughs> fucking Logan's proposing Easy. next week. <laughs> Listen guys, I'm engaged. Got myself a fiance. When I popped the question, I knew I needed the perfect ring, but believe me, it's not easy. If you're like me, you might be taking the next step or looking to buy everyday fine jewelry like a timeless pair of diamond studs. There's a chance you might not be sure where to start with a purchase like that. That's why I want to point you in the direction of BlueNile.com, the original online jeweler. And I'm glad to share this today because anniversary sales going on now. <laughs> At BlueNile.com, you can find the perfect piece of jewelry for life's special moments or even create the custom engagement ring of her dreams. Their simple online tools let you choose the diamond shape, size, and clarity, as well as the setting style. If you're having trouble choosing, Blue Nile also offers in-depth educational materials and experts on hand 24-7 via phone or chat. Thanks to Blue Nile's diamond price guarantee, you can compare a competitor's diamond against one of theirs. Blue Nile will meet or even beat their price. Every order is insured. It arrives quickly in discreet packaging that won't give away what's inside. Shipping is free, and so are returns. Right now, you can save up to 40% on fine jewelry and 15% on engagement ring settings when you shop the Blue Nile Anniversary Sale at BlueNile.com. That's BlueNile.com for up to 40% off during the Blue Nile Anniversary Sale. 
Wish I would have bought the ring then. <laughs> BlueNile.com. Back to the show. Nah, but in that moment, you know, first off, I never imagined myself getting engaged. That's ridiculous. That's insane. And I saw a lot of the comments from people who have been following me for a long time. They're like, I, this seems impossible. How, I, like, this isn't a guy who would get engaged. And it's so cliche, but I've experienced it so viscerally now when you know you know and i knew this girl was my person so quickly and all of a sudden i found myself concocting this plan to propose to a woman i want to spend the rest of my life with which is even like a scary sentence how to long say. ago did that plan start getting concocted uh probably probably three and a half four months ago oh so it was in the works for a while a i thought while. you were just doing it to get all the eyes off the FDA looking into Prime. <laughs> so I was like, he's gonna, he's gonna do an, another stunt. So all the Twitter mentions could be about that. You know? It, 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 what happened? The Canadian government was like, no, 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 there's no, no. too much caffeine in Can you in please there. not do this? He's, we're talking about No, no, because I want to talk about this. Yeah. I want to talk about this. Can we leave? I put, it, put, yeah, put a pin in that bullshit engagement. And let's I, talk about the FDA. I, I knew it. I knew nah. there was time into it. See, it, he's smart. Here's what happened. <laughs> It wasn't timed, but it did work out because it did drown out some of the FDA noise. Because yeah. that's the, that's what it is, is noise. Mm -hmm. The FDA is not investigating Prime as it stands. Who knows? Chuck Schumer, who is a, he's he's like the head of the Senate, which is Bro, fucking ridiculous. Chuck Schumer, <laughs> Chuck Schumer is, is potentially, arguably the most powerful man in the United States of America. He, I, I, I was told he controls everything in New York City. Number one. No, yeah. no, 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 not New York City. He is the... Senate majority leader. Yeah, yeah. From a positional standpoint, he may be the most powerful man in the United States of America. So that's why when I noticed that he was coming at you, I was like, damn, Susan Wojcicki was a warm up for this dude, bro. Like, <laughs> dude, this is crazy. Yeah, I woke up on a Sunday and I see Senate majority leader Chuck Schumer <laughs> is urging the FDA to investigate Prime. And in my head, I go, what's, what's going on? Why is this? We're FDA compliant. In America, mm -hmm. like obviously, um, we're with our partners, our ninjas in this industry. Nothing we're do we're just f we're literally just following the rules. Yeah, yeah. Like you may have done stupid shit in the past, but like may you're not going no, to put toxic chemicals in a drink now. What it's so obvious doing? to look up. We're just we're we're doing exactly what we should be doing and are in line with all the FDA guidelines and regulations. And we're compliant to each country's different regulations. Mm -hmm. Like we just are. Um, I know something you're not complying with. You ain't writing those checks, buddy. You ain't writing the checks. My sister told you. My lobbyist sister told you yeah. that if you ain't going to fucking pay them, they're going to come for you. You got to start writing those checks. You're an agent of the Matrix. You should know this shit. You should know. You <laughs> no, got to pay off the government. You have to pay Evi off the government. Evidently. The government's evi owned. Evidently. The government's owned, bro. This, I didn't know this because his sister was the first one to send that to me. She said, there, it's likely that are paying to push to essentially create a headline. Like, the, let me get the, let me clarify this. The FDA is not investigating Prime. A suggested that the FDA investigated Prime. Lobbyists who want to create negative headlines about our product that is quite literally disrupting the market and eating their market share and they're not happy about it i get it it's all a strategic <laughs> gameplay it's just like when it's just like when i Elon was gonna started. drink it and have a seizure <laughs> like, yo, 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 jeff no jeff no 200 milligrams of caffeine hey mm. hey fyi that's what gatorade's fast twitch has it, it doesn't even say 18 plus on the product it's a can in a bottle one says energy one says hydration one says 18 plus, one does not. Every time we do make a Prime Energy post, it says 18 plus on it. You know who's not doing that? PepsiCo, you're fucking fast twitch, which also has 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is the same as this. Hey, Chuck! Hey, Chuck! Mm -hmm. When you point one finger, three point back. Well, no, I'm, don't please don't include me and Jeff in this. Mr. Schumer, I want to no, say that. Right. No, that's right. Yeah, that's Chuck, right. Schumer, I'll no, I'll Chuck, I'll tell you something. Chuck, I'll tell you something. Listen to me, Chuck. Schumer, you won. You won this and I'll tell you why. I went to be an internet troll and I'm not gonna say what I did, but it involved Chuck Schumer in a boxing bag. <laughs> and as I was boxing this boxing bag that may have had a picture of Chuck Schumer on it, 
I tore my rotator cuff. <laughs> no. I tore my fucking rotator cuff. <laughs> Make it a fucking troll video. Damn. Yeah. You'll never be able to play baseball again. Never. So I, 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 in my head, I was like, damn, I should have never fucked with the Senate. You don't, and you don't, <laughs> what was I thinking, you don't think the government had something to do with that? Of course they did. Yeah, it's like of the same thing as when did. you, is your girlfriend says, I think I'm on my period and you get a tampon ad. You started setting that bag up yeah. and they broke your fucking shoulder like this. 100%. Bro, people don't realize how strong this government is, this corrupt owned government I, is me and jeff been be talking careful to even say that now because now i <laughs> i literally feel the wrath of the government bro it's it, you know i hate to say it i'm dude, sorry i don't, the I'm just kidding, is, I don't give is, a fuck this come is coming down on us and y'all gotta be careful because it's all fun and games now to one of us goes missing or missing a limb bro and the worst thing about it is like we should be doing it too because it's just the hottest way to get views, bro. Mm -hmm. Like if you do all that like crazy like- Start beef with the government? Yeah, or like the fringe shit, the matrix. The Fuck the government. High value women, high value men. 9-11 was an inside job. Hillary Clinton yeah. has a death squad. Yeah. Vaccines are tracking devices because they watch where we go and mm -hmm. they, they can give us ads. Microchips, that's what they were injecting in You know what I'm saying? If you. we did this right now, our views would go tri quadruple. <laughs> now we'd have to post our podcast only to Twitter, <laughs> but- We'd have but four it, times as many views. Even Twitter's <laughs> popping off with podcasts. I'm saying, so, okay, so what's stopping us from right, right now from calling women fours, right? Starting a, a fringe right podcast <laughs> and just going on, on joining Why Chuck the disrespect to women, though? We don't have to do that. We no, can, that's part of the thing. I thought we were just starting beef with the government. It, it, but, but women, there are women in the government. <laughs> so, we're, okay. Be, here, I'll put it like this. <laughs> the, the simplest way is this. The, the easiest route these days to viewership is by creating enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter who those enemies are. You just have to be creating enemies. So the easiest thing to do, the far easiest thing to do is make an enemy out of everyone. Uh -huh. Every single person. It's me against the world. I'm the little guy standing up for what's right against the corporations, against the government greed, against Chuck Schumer. <laughs> if you want to find a white knight, look to me. I'm your fucking guy. <laughs> and this Paul podcast, Impulsive Podcast with Logan Paul, is now a Fringe Right podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, hide behind listen, that Paul no, no, name. No. <laughs> nice. Good work. No, listen, Ch Chuck, I, I, I got no problems with Chuck. I don't think it's going to affect anything involving Prime because I would like to believe that the consumer and the comments online will tell you this exactly what's happening you can tell it's a fucking energy product that's 18 plus and that it's our hydration line is not and i think chuck just introduced a bill that wants to declassify government ufo otherworldly uh, extraterrestrial creature vehicles <laughs> which i think is sick yeah so like i don't i Go got, ahead, I got suck no problem chuck with schumer's chuck. dick i got a problem with chuck Go he tore my rotator bro. cuff by deep by you know right can we can we get way. back to the topic that you sidelined <laughs> Can we get back, please? I, I, I wanna, line? What? It's not. Prime's not fucking banned from Canada. Prime okay. Energy's not banned from Canada. We could just jump cut this all that. No, no, no. I'll tell you why. <laughs> we don't distribute Prime Energy <laughs> in Canada. We, we don't distribute it there. It's there because of illegal uh, uh, importers and, and unauthorized imports of the product because, you know, Prime. Prime, it's been Prime's smuggled doing, in, like exact smuggled in. It's they don't. I don't think you have to smuggle it, bro. I think you just bring it from the states or somewhere. Maybe somebody flew a drone over and dropped it. That's, yeah, that's a new way of trafficking you know, now. It, it, liquid's heavy. I don't think that. I don't think they could do that with the drone. <laughs> but I'm saying. But I'm saying it, it, it's there's a shit, there's a shitload of misinformation going on with Prime right now, and it's it's funny to see. Time and time again, when you reach a certain amount of success, negative headlines become intertwined and synonymous with what you're doing. We saw it even happen with Mr. Beast lately. Mr. Beast, the nicest, most brilliant YouTube creator we've seen in a long time who is constantly giving back um, to philanthropy, doing good, help changing the world for the better. And yet still people are coming down on him for, for what? You, you just want something to whine about and complain about? It's much easier to tear someone down than build your own life up. And the world's filled with that type of person right now. And Prime has, unfortunately, at least for that two-week period, hit that zeitgeist. Bro, we don't even fucking distribute Prime Energy. And why, in why is that? Because Canada doesn't allow caffeine? No. Uh, the limit for Canada, I believe, is 140 milligrams of caffeine, which when Prime Energy comes to Canada, which it's going to, the cans will be under 140 milligrams. Can I ask you a question regarding your marriage? Okay. Um, I also want to tell you that you've, been, you've inspired me. Your love is, is so pure. It, 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 it's just really nice to watch. And it's inspired me to be a little bit more well-behaved in my own ways. 
It pissed me off, to be honest. I was like, <laughs> it made me feel like a piece of shit. I was like, I need to be doing something in my life. You were way younger than me. You like had this great, you found this love and you found a great way to, to show it off. And it just made me feel like I'm a piece of shit. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. I'm proud of you. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. I, I feel what you're saying. Jeff, I never thought I'd be in this position. Come on, bro. Me? I know. Getting down on one knee? I did. I'll be honest. No, no. I knew. No, no. You're a lover. Nah. You're a lover, boy. Nah. You're a lover, boy. Getting down on one knee, saying these nice things. Bro, you're a lover, boy, bro. Asking a girl to spend the rest of your life with you, that's some pussy shit. No, and then here I am doing it with my chest out. I'm no, proud that's the to goal in life. I got <laughs> chest out. I got. Ash was crying. I was. She turned me into a fucking puddle, dude. You're I crying was, when you ask the question. You ask the question like this. Oh, I was sobbing, bro. I watched it back, and I was like, dude. Oh, oh ah, that a, shit was mad cute. I'm not gonna lie. Body. But but, bro, you've always you you are a lover boy. Your relationship with Nina has been obviously trackable, bro. I remember when we when you guys first started talking. And this was back when me and you were getting like beefs about shit. And I remember one time we were, I'll remember this forever. We were in Las Vegas and we had just done a show and you were fucking late to that shit. And we got me, dude, I, we, you remember this? You guys all, bro, in the downstairs at that bar. And I thought y'all had cleared out. I thought security had cleared out. I thought it was just me and him and me and him were going at it. You're fucking, you're trailing off. You're not taking this fucking show serious anymore. We had fucking Kehlani on the show today. Your ass was a fucking hour late. Maybe if you put as much energy into this fucking show as you put into that relationship with Nina, he goes, I'm going to ask you to stop right fucking there. That is my future wife. That is the future mother of my children. So watch what you say next. <laughs> and I said, Holy shit, bro. This is this is serious, bro. And look, since then, Impulsive's gone into the shitter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this show sucks. The views are in the fucking I trash. Listen to Mike. But the marriage is great. The relationship's, the relationship's great. great. Dude. But I'll rem but I'll remember that. And I knew this that fucking shit was serious since day one. Since day one when I introduced you guys. I'll always I'll always remember no, that. No, let me take let me take this time to thank you. I never get real. Let fast. me take this time to thank you. I'm not kidding, Mike. Out of all the things we've done together in our life, lot, out of bro. all the things you've helped me with and been my big brother for, you are quite literally the reason why I met my fucking wife. And that's incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you so fucking much. Oh, so I, I was not I was not going to go to the Hard Rock Hotel for a measly measly fee to show up and, and promote the opening of the Hard Rock Hotel in New York City, <laughs> which is where I met Nina. And by the way, you guys getting me there was the best investment of your life. Because now forever, we, we met in that spot, and I'm riding for you guys. They sent us a nice guitar with the date on it, the day we met. Oh, really? Well, not because of it, but they did it to every person they played. Oh, oh yeah. Mine yeah. got stuck with my account. Uh, that, that trip was special. <laughs> and and we should I think we should probably also owe a good shout-out to John Schwartz. I think he's going to, uh, I'm going to ask him to officiate our wedding, I think. <laughs> That's actually awesome. <laughs> That's actually awesome. He's so he's, perfect, he's perfect for that. For it, right? He really is. Yeah. Yeah, it's incredible, dude. Thank you. I I I can't believe it. When I introduced you to um, that one girl, uh, yeah, you uh, changed Le my life. Lena no, no, no. There's no need for that. Um, but that's a good topic to to stroll into. Yeah, we're but going. No, we're, going <laughs> we're going there. I'm saying we're going there because the yeah. Well, it's just gonna be the next. And I thank you for saying that to me. And I, I really do want to say you've inspired me. I think you've inspired a lot of people uh, in 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 this in this romantic relationship. I have been talking to someone as well for the past it, i don't want to move fast let's not get out of control here but she, it's a, she's a spicy latina i'd say she's like a little bottle of fucking hot sauce yeah, yeah you know what i'm yeah, saying like sure. and and i <laughs> i've been warned i've been warned i've been warned by david people know they're not to be fucked with you don't fuck with these these latinas bro they're feisty and i like that because i like that when i when something happens like if i get into like a little scuffle with like a door guy and i'm like yo can we come in all of a sudden I'm I'm behind a girl and she's jumping in front of me like yo 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 poppy 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 listen up yo you know you know I'm from Havana right I'm from Cuba you from Cuba and then they start speaking in Spanish to each other I, bro that's my shit yeah. like I love that and I'm just like yeah listen to her bro listen to her bro well, last I night quickly this I, I got this <laughs> I try to keep I try to I try to keep the Latinas away from blonde white chicks. It's just like, 
it's smart, bro. Especially if I'm it friends. Like vinegar or water. It, it kind of can be, especially <laughs> if there's a couple of the Latinas at the same time, because uh, they they squat up. And so last night I was at this dinner at Gecko. Shout out Gruntman. Shout out you know <laughs> Perp. All these guys. We're at we're at this dinner, and um this this blonde chick who I'm friends with also shows up to this dinner. She's hanging out. What was she doing there? Well, I want to know. No, nah, it's fine. Jeff, Hugs, do you know why she was no, there? No, 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 he doesn't. He doesn't. P please, please. You got to let me craft this properly. Please let, let, let him go. <laughs> please. So she, so she shows up at this dinner and um, we were having like a nice time, right? And she comes and she kind of like, she's, like, she's pretty loud. She just watched the Barbie movie. And <laughs> I guess it's like a very empowering movie for women to watch. And she just wanted to disrespect everyone. She just wanted to come in. She was telling me she was going to... Uh, she was gonna abuse me because I'm a man and I resemble Ken. Oh yeah, like, you what do. the fuck? She comes, she came in on this shit. She was like, well, in the Barbie world, she's like, women are the president, they're the CEOs and everything. And then when you leave the Barbie world, they realize how ridiculous the real world is where men have control too. And I can get behind that. So she's like talking and like she has <laughs> one of those voices that like trails off. And I can get behind that. Oh, that. And, and so I'm, in my brain, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm not looking to my right to, to my Latinas, right? I'm just focusing on Barbie, yeah. right? And it's like that. And I'm thinking to myself, if I look right, I know what the Latinas faces are gonna look like. Yeah. So I'm not gonna look right. Yeah, yeah. But I hear and I feel a little snicker <laughs> to my right and they're texting each other. Oh, no. and, I, and, and, and like in Spanish, right? And I go, to, I go to the girl I'm talking to and I go, can you please stop? Yeah. Can you please stop? Don't do that. She's just having a good time. Like, please stop, right? So whatever. So she continues on and the the feisty Latinas get up to go to the bathroom. They go, yo, we're gonna go to the bathroom. And I go, can you just hurry up because the car is about to be here. And the Barbie girl turns towards me and goes, yeah, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and I, bro, my heart dropped, I go. <laughs> and and this girl turns and and it was like a homicide via eye stare. Yeah. Like, and, and, I, and I text her, I go, hey, hey, babe, I know what you're thinking right now. Can you, can you just not? Like, can you just not? Just please let me handle it. And so I, and so for the rest of the night, I made all these stupid comments. I, I asked her how Margot Robbie was in the movie. She's like, it's not Margot. <laughs> it's Margot. Like, what are you stupid? And then, and then I told her, I told her I was an Episcopalian, so I don't eat fish. Okay, and she bought it. And, no, no, and she goes, it's an Episcopalian. No, no. And I go, I'm sorry. And then I told her the last thing I told her was, I was like. Yeah, I, um, I've been saving up money. I think I'm gonna get an apartment here in Miami. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get a nice place. I found a place for 800 a month. And she goes, what are you getting? Like a shed in like someone's backyard? Bro, it was like a whole Yo, thing, dude. Here's a general rule of thumb. Keep Latinas away from white girls. Here's That's another the rule of thumb, general bro. rule of thumb. It really <laughs> <laughs> You can be dumb, you can be mean. <laughs> But you can't be both. No, you can't. I'm telling you, bro, you can't. You gotta pick one. You can't. <laughs> you gotta pick one. That's gnarly. That's a person who I can't imagine being around, which is part of the reason I'm so she's happy. She's probably no, down. no, no. I will I will say this too. She's I'm probably fine. I think she was I think she was drunk. She's she's probably fine. But I do wanna say this as a, from a nice standpoint. Shout out to all my Latinas. Latino women, Latino men, the Mexican community, the Cuban community, fucking Puerto Rican community. I love you guys. Okay. I've said this a million times. I love your culture. I love your passion. For life, your lust for life, your zest, your food. Shout out to all races, bro. and you shout know? out to all the other races. Oh wait, can too. you? <laughs> no, I like the idea of just uh, today's about for me a specific. Yeah, people. Yeah. I can. So, so you're about them. you're locked down now. Logan's obviously locked down. Feels like getting pretty close. Just prowling, Jeff. Huh? I'm, just, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. That's what I was getting at before. What is it like on the outfield? <laughs> I mean, it's going. You know, actually, it should be good that you two are locked down. More action for me. <laughs> But the show does nothing with this 99% male audience. Nothing. But whatever. No, I'm not in this game for pussy, you know? Yeah. Someone that is in the game for pussy is Adam22. Let's come on. <laughs> We're a couple weeks late, yeah. but I have a very unique angle on this, having, having once dated a, a adult star. Yeah. So I think my opinion is, is valid on it. But I, I want to immediately yeah. toss it out to you guys. Do, do you guys have any right off the bat feelings on what happened? I, I guess for the audience that is unaware, uh, Adam 22, Lena the Plug, to technically adult film stars who, who are married and also have a child. Uh, it, it, you know, Adam has been, uh, they run a show, uh, you know what I'll say, it, they run a show called Plug Talk uh, where they interview other adult stars and then 
fucked them afterwards. And it's a whole thing. And Adam has, you know, fat Latina booties and, and uh, black booties and all kinds of different booties bouncing on his face. And he's doing all kinds of stuff to him. But he also has a podcast called No Jumper, which is a wildly successful. Wildly successful. Like, more urban-based yep. podcast. It's, it's, it's great. He's... He's a businessman. He is a businessman. Business and, and, and so that's going to be the question and going to be the, the crux of this conversation, right? And so for the longest time, Lena had never hooked up with a man, another man besides Adam. She was in videos with Adam, but never another man. Uh, and maybe, you know, two weeks ago, they make this announcement that Lena is going to be doing her first ever guy-girl scene with a male performer. And this broke the internet. Twitter did not know what to do, how to handle this situation. Aiden Ross flipping out, Andrew Tate, mind blown. All of these people trying to make sense of a situation that didn't seem to have any sense to be made. And days later, this video rolls out of her having these intimate relations with a man by the name of Jason Love, someone who the person I was once dating also had a video with uh. and a quite famous video with. <laughs> and so it, so the internet has been ablaze. Yeah. Is it? Well, cause and, he let, he, the issue is okay. in one sense, he let another guy fuck his wife for the entire internet to see behind a paywall. Well, that's not the issue. That's actually where I, I, I go, Hmm, I'm, I'm a business guy. I could see, I could see the angle <laughs> they're taking. They teased it, dude. They teased it ahead of time. They built the hype up ahead of time. Then the video dropped behind a paywall. I bet they made bank from a strictly business decision. These people are hustlers, and I can respect that. And Where do you draw the line? I'll yeah, draw the that's... line when Adam commented on <laughs> my Twitter picture that said, engaged to my best friend, and said, let her sleep with another dude. <laughs> No, I did not. That's see where that. I draw the fucking line. Oh my the guy, god! The guy's out of his fucking mind. The guy's out of his. Mind. I have been. I have <laughs> been thinking that way. So okay. So I know Adam very well. I've known Adam for years and years. I've done his show multiple times. We've we've had. By the way, it's very. You know, it, us having this conversation makes sense. We've had Adam and Len Lena on the show before a I long think time ago. Cool. He's no, cool. he's awesome. Adam is very cool. He's a he's a he's a cool guy. He's a, there's a lot of things I like about about Adam for sure. I was surprised about this one. I was very surprised about this one. And there's so many different factors involved. There's the fact that they're married. This is the one that, that started to make me think they have a child. Does that impact an adult star's desire to continue working in the space as a mom, as a, okay, a question. It's not a, it's not a, a, a basis. I do have my own opinions on it. Maybe we get there. Um, also, Something tells me something behind the scenes happened that basically forced this. Uh, and, and I've seen it on streams. I've seen Lena hinting to the fact that Adam has been uh, unfaithful mm. in the relationship. He has cheated on her in the past. I don't know if it was recently. I don't know if it was, if it was a long time so ago. She basically had a wild card. That's what, it's, that's what it seems like. But I also know that Lena is very, very faithful loyal, to, to, yeah. a, to a wild extent. And yeah. she, she probably is so forgiving in that aspect that she wouldn't have done that without his like semi-permission at least. It, it, it's, the interesting part is filming it and putting it online. Because otherwise you're kind of just swingers, which is, is probably way more Nah, because she wouldn't anything. have done it. She would, I, I, it, it, was, it, was a, it was a cash grab. She, yeah, she clearly has no desire to be hooking up and and also to, and who, to, who presented the idea do you think it had to have been her no if i know that if i know them i think it was adam That's why. if i know them it was probably but it could but what i was saying was it could have been adam under the preface that it was to satiate a another fault like him saying listen this this is how we this is how you can forgive me for what i've done you do this video you take 100 percent of the proceeds how do you feel about that but it but 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 Bro, regardless, I cannot see a world where this does not complicate that relationship. And and I, I watched the stream with Tate that, by the way, your brother was on, and I have a whole heap of thoughts on that. Maybe we get to it later in the episode. But, you know, Tate raised a, a very good point, which was, regardless of how you feel now, does this act come up, you know, later on when you guys get in a fight and now she's already fucked another dude? And maybe starts thinking a little bit differently about how much she has to be with you or how, how you're the only dick she's had in a long time. Like, does that change her psyche? Does that change her approach to 
you know, arguments, disagreements, debates, right? Like knowing that you have other options. I mean, she knows she has other options, 100%. but like, yeah. Does it change? Does yes. it change the dynamic? A hundred percent. How can it not? And an, and fi final question on it: If if it if there was nothing that seemed more apparent of a cash grab situation, and and I think you're right about it, is the fact that they went straight into racial BBC, like they like they didn't they didn't like lean like weave people into. It. They were like, yo, we're gonna do what will cause the most. <laughs> Look at David. Can you keep your hands like that? <laughs> <laughs> just a, just the, the, a guy, the guy's packing a lot. He's, he's hung like a horse. They don't call him Jason Love or nothing, bro. So he's got a. Did Adam film it? No, that would be some cuck behavior. I don't. I, Adam's not a. He's not. He's not he's Adam. Not, he's Adam a is a money. Adam cares about money. Adam cares. He. It's very clear. I'm, I know that with, without a shadow of a doubt. I just. I thought that might have been a line for him. I really did. I, I, I'm very surprised in his decision. I really am. I've been impressed by his iron mental fortitude he's he's it looks like he's impenetrable everyone's clowning on him right like why would they not you let a guy with a horse cock fuck your wife on camera and he just doesn't care he's he's he seems unfazed by it he's making jokes out of it that's where i i gotta take my hat off i don't know how the guy has found that well, confidence you, ha you have to yeah that's that insane yeah you i was gonna to. say that if he shot if he shows no even other play. one crack in his shield on that it's it's a wrap. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be open season on his ass. <laughs> open season. You it already is though. It already is. Like this is the this is the most I've seen the internet uh, favoring one direction or one side. And this guy's like, I don't give a fuck. What are you, what are you talking about? It's, you know, I let I let another guy fuck my wife. Well, well, and and also and also just to, just to bring up the opposing viewpoint and just just to make sure I get it out there, she, Adam has Adam has had intimate relations with hundreds and hundreds of other women and obviously in the side we live in and maybe it's right or wrong I'm not, I'm not commenting on that but you know she's given him this always on pass yeah. to, to shoot and so it, it let's put it like this i'll put it like this my final thought on it could could never be me could never be me and and that should be a, an obvious statement the idea of someone that you're currently with going hooking up with a, a, another man could never be me right yeah that said the difference in a situation where one of the people is where sorry where both people are already adult film stars and one of them is already hooking up with hundreds of other people does make it a dramatically different dynamic than the average conversation does mm -hmm. that make sense yeah absolutely now you don't have to answer this if you don't want to but when you were with your yep. ex yep. would you ever go back and watch old work of hers are you asking me if I'm a cuck on the impulsive show? Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> well, I'll be honest with you. Obviously, I'd seen a tremendous amount of her stuff prior yeah, to hooking yeah. up with her. But at that, you cut it off. Yeah, it, it, it starts to change how you... Yeah. It starts to change how you look at the person completely. I mean, you start to... And, and I know I can tell Logan's getting fidgety. And, and it was funny because Tate said, I'm incredibly uncomfortable with this conversation. And it, it really is. It's actually, to be completely honest with you, it is a very... Similarly to the uh, NPC streams, it's mm, a ridiculous. Ice cream so good. Exactly. Like a cow <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Grab, grab, grab. Pop. Mm, ice cream so good. Got me feeling like a cowgirl. It's uncomfortable. What do you? How do you? How do you? We're here. We're at the same. The the lowest rung of the ladder yep. that you talked about at the beginning of the show. Yep. This is another example of that. Yep. Gnarly place to be. I respect the hustle, guys. I get it, but damn, you're sacrificing some shit for that. You're sacrificing some shit, and I don't know if there's any coming back for certain things. Cowgirl girl can come back. She can make a whole goddamn life out of being she's the NPC. crushing it. She's uh, she, honestly she, good she, for fucking her. She she um she her main income source is OnlyFans. Uh, that's great too. Yep. I think it's I think no it's no no. Awesome. no I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying there's a chance she's gonna be doing a video with Jason Love soon too. I think it's awesome. <laughs> like I it's think, it's Jason Love is the real winner here. He's just out. He's gonna have a feeling like a cowgirl. <laughs> he's gonna, literally. Uh, speaking of cowgirls, speaking of you know the internet. Similarly to what you went through in 2018, early 2018, when I saw the return of Andrew Tate post prison, I saw a humbled man. His, his approach on the stream the other day, in every position in which he was challenged, uh, forced to debate or argue, he presented his, himself from a position of love, 
a position of understanding, a position of empathy, and a position of, of uh, desire to push the conversation forward with an effective outcome. I had not seen that from him before. He, he in the past, had relied on uh, disses, on, on uh, being mean, on flexing, on a lot of those things. Void, void from this stream. And, and I believe, in a lot of ways, his experience in prison, in Romania, and, and, and seeing how quickly life can change, humbled him very much so. I wonder if he would agree with you. I wonder if he did Oh, I, I, I think no, he no, everybody. I, I, I mean, when you go through that, when you got when you got grown men checking your asshole for contraband and shit like that, it'll, it'll, it'll humble you. You know, you but his like whole, an animal. But his whole brand is that of having an iron will and a mental fortitude that cannot be tested. That's the if worst he, punishment for, for people. I, I, I agree. Dude, I said, I said, if he makes it out of this little jail stint that's happening right now, he's going to be in a phenomenal position on the mm. internet for people to hear his story and see how he made it through it. And I, I got to give him props for that. I don't know if this... Um, Tate talk is preemptive, right? He's 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 in the middle of a fucking case in Romania. Yeah. If he's able to get out of it, you know, then then we're having a conversation. Otherwise, we could be upping a fucking. Uh, you know what we, I'm saying? We we in in this country, and I'd like to extend our country's sentiment toward towards the rest of the, the world. We run off a basis of innocent until proven guilty. I'm more than happy to provide that level of of. Uh, or that same sentiment towards anybody who's charged with a crime, whether it's YNW Melly, whether it's whoever, uh, you know, uh, whoever, right? And <laughs> not, so, not one other person. I don't know. Not I couldn't think person. of anyone, dude. But, 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 anyways, uh, I, I, I did want to say that, and also, I think uh, a a a lesson that it seems like he learned, at least seemingly watching that first stream is I think he is settling into the confidence that he has in the fact that his viewers are there to watch him, listen to his motivation, listen to his inspiration, listen to those messages, and they will not turn it off if he doesn't talk shit about people. They will not turn it off if he doesn't call girls fat fours, mm. if he doesn't, if he doesn't, you know, talk about the fact that Western civilization is always failing and all these negative things he can probably run on a platform of positive messaging, which is ironically what was the desire for Trump the entire time where people were like, okay, this dude's got a lot of great policies. He's got a lot of great messages. If someone takes away his access to Twitter, this can be the most powerful person in the world. If he would just stop saying ridiculous shit and focus on the fact that he has a platform. Andrew Tate has a platform, whether he's mean on it or not. Mm -hmm. And I think he realizes that. We will see how that continues to play out. But at least from the start, uh, from from his recent restart, he's he is he seems to be a, a much humbler man. How can he not be? I mean, the prison stint, especially if it was unjust, is is tough. Take it from me. I've done a lot of bad shit in my life. You know, whether it was to make money or whatever. Every time I've been arrested, it was for some stupid shit. Just like slipping up, had nothing to do with what I was doing to make money. And you still get that lesson, whatever you're in there for. You know, even if I was, if they got the wrong guy, which is what happened to me, all, every one of my arrests, they got the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> but you fucking come out of there different. Yeah, of sure, course, sure. it humbles sure. you. And I, I wouldn't change a thing. You know, I needed it. If you watch videos of the old me in my like early 20s, I was a piece of shit. Like I... I hate myself to go back and watch those. Yeah. My reality show appearances and stuff. Terrible. No way. <laughs> I need a jail. You are, I might need another one soon. Yeah. You know? No. Sometimes it's good just to hit like, nah, you know. Nah, but I think, I think you, no. Yeah, grounded yeah, again. You say that, but, but. you're just stuck in there with your own thoughts. You know, you they take your name from you. Now you have a number, inmate, whatever. You know, they just, re they, they know what they're doing, you know? Yeah. You say you say that, but I think I think there is a max inflection point in life of humility where you say to yourself, nah, I don't think I'm gonna go back to that level of asshole again. Like I like I yeah, course, I was yeah. the biggest I was the worst piece of shit on all three of these couches. I'll stand behind that easily, bro. I was a <laughs> terrible fucking person. No, no. This is a I'm crazy terrible. guy. Bro, to have. No, person. you were worse than me. <laughs> no way. Bro, come on. No man. way. I was bro, in I was a bad a, spot. I, was I look back at some of my behavior. Horrible man, drug dealer. Believe I'm the same guy. <laughs> no, but that that was before the podcast. That was before. That was before the podcast. It was, bro. It was twenty years before the podcast. Yeah, but we've all done some fucked up shit. Speaking you know? of fucked up shit, man, <laughs> at, I'm least, loving yeah, at least we didn't film it. 
<laughs> let's move on. Let's go. Uh, let's You're talk so about. Right. Let's talk about You're UFC. So right. Honestly, you know, let's honestly, bro. You're a, you're absolutely right. You live and you learn, you you're know? You're absolutely right. What's going on in the UFC? Is he, you see what he <laughs> did? You see uh, Relax when he got sec. in the octagon? Did you see that? Yeah, he's a fighter. Of course he got in the octagon. Well, when he got in the octagon uh, with, with, what's it? Marcus, you can talk Plessy? shit to him and then bring a half big story, bro. Yeah, you can't. If you're going to talk <laughs> shit to him, your next story better be crushed. I'm deflecting. <laughs> no, you got to. Izzy goes in there, he's yelling the N word over <laughs> and over again. Oh, bro, because yeah, they're, they're both African. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And he got a lot of hate for it, but I think that was sick. You know, if I were Izzy, bro, I would have done that he, shit come exactly. On. I Izzy's wish, a I wish I could do Izzy's that one a beast. day. You know? You'd never be able to do it, bro. Well, obviously not. I you know? we can't say the N-word, but you know, <laughs> if I were Izzy, you know how sick that would be to get in there on that fucking mic. He lost his voice too. He sounded all You could do anything on pay-per-views. Like flash your tits even. Oh yeah, you saw that. Girl's that girl's banned. Saw it She's live. Banned. Saw, yes. saw boobies live on the zone. <laughs> I, I was like, it. bro, she just flashed her tits in front of an arena full of children. Yeah. That is insane. That's like illegal. Sexual that's a sex crime. Yeah, you get a, that's indecent exposure. It, the the fact that it, it happened and it's forty thousand people in the arena. Kids. Yeah. It yeah. happened. Kids. In, it happened in Ireland, right? Is that where it was? I think so. Yeah. Fucking women so, flashing their boobies, teenagers vaping, and yeah, Chuck Schumer wants to say that the FDA complied. Prime Energy needs to be investigated. <laughs> you gotta pay him. Shut the fuck. You gotta up. pay him. <laughs> Yo, let's investigate vaping. No, you gotta. Oh, no, no. What are we doing? Bro, <laughs> this country's pumping McDonald's and what fast are we doing? food. Everything is bullshit. What are we paying attention Bro, got, to? No, stop paying attention. To no, the consumers the see through it. Speaking of releasing, though, shout out Jesus. My man Jesus, German rapper. He was out of prison for a weekend. Made a music it's video. Not his back name. in prison. It's, it's not his name. It's hard. It's, it's hard. Jesus. What do you mean? It's not, it's, it's not how you say it, is it? What? Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. You, just, Jesus. Just, you just turn him into a, the son of God. Oh, he's awesome. I, it's that's G not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I thought we call him Jesus. 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 Yeah. He, he Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, but that's the, the, the son of God. Bro, I pray to the son of God. I pray to every God. Okay, I pray to not, every we're religion. Not doing, we're not doing this, what, again. Bro, we're not doing this I, again. Bro, how about this? Just because I'm not this, religious this, doesn't mean this. I can't believe in God. The word religious is, doesn't belong in your vocabulary. Take religious, religion, God. Mm -hmm. In fact, you have to be atheist at this point. You've disrespected I'm that. not atheist. You're atheist. You're atheist. Bro, I believe in God. I believe in God. It doesn't, just because I don't subscribe to yours or his or any particular persons in this room doesn't mean that my God isn't as just as legit. And I can prove that. I don't care what God you pray to. It doesn't matter which God you pray to. Whoever your God is, is pissed off at the island boys. Mm. What is going on there? They're... Like, like, okay. No, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking are, about. Are we, no, actually, no, 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 no. You can't handle another you, one of these no, fucking stupid you fucking topics today. You can't. I can't handle another one of these stupid fucking topics today, bro. I can't, dude. Twin, I can't. Twin brothers what? making out with each other to promote their OnlyFans. Oh, that's even low. That's lower on the ladder. Bro, that's actually insane. That's that's, that's gnarly. That's actually insane. And also, and also. <laughs> yeah, that's just, the word. They, they should have just sold their jewelry like George said. He, he was right. He was George right was right about, about that. that. Can we can we get some clarity on on is that illegal? Is it illegal for them to do that? Uh, incest is not illegal. What do they is say it? to George on that? Hey, I'm thugging. Can we you know, a, can you, we get a, can we get a Florida thugging. law? He, he, he was thugging. <laughs> check on incest, please, because they they live in Dade County. I'd like to know: is it illegal to stick your tongue in your fucking brother's twin brothers gullet? And your twin no, brother's no, no, it's, tattooed it's, it's not because, throat. It's not because they didn't have um, sex. Is is that how that works? Florida statute 826.04 makes it a crime to marry or have sex with a person you are related to by lineal consangu consanguinity or a brother, sister, uncle, aunt, nephew, or niece. Got it. So, so as long as they're not fucking. But that's the thing. Are they doing that on their OnlyFans? Fucking each other? I don't want to talk about this. The Jonah Hill topic seems extremely complex, and I don't. I, it does seem complex. One thing I'll say about the Jonah Hill topic. Maybe this is divisive, but I find it incredibly fucked up for this girl to continually air Jonah Hill's private messages to her on social media 100%. trying to prove her point. I don't think that's ever I don't think that's ever fair. We, I don't think we, it's we, ever we, fair. We, we get it, lady. What are you doing? Also, wasn't that a relationship like two years prior? Was his was his positioning uh correct? I don't know. I'm not gonna comment on that. But man, being in Jonah Hill's position, being a celebrity, a person who has to constantly worry about trust and trusting people in his life, especially people who he probably loved at one point, and then having that trust broken 
by this particular person is actually vile. It's actually fucked up. Extremely it, it, fucked up. I guess up. my question is this: like, what is what does she get out of it? What was what was her intent? Was she trying to save future girls from falling into the pit of despair? She, she like, probably felt really wronged by him and wanted to get back at him. Well, it, her people, her people, evidently came from a place it timed coincidentally with the pregnancy announcement of him with his new wife or birth of his kid i can't remember what that could cause some angst in an ex for sure for sure it's it's fucked up don't don't keep keep your shit private if possible especially if you're not even dating the person it's two years gone get a fucking life woman you have another topic bro i hate this gossip drama bullshit it just seems I, anything new? We should have watched Oppenheimer. I'm in Oppenheimer. We should have watched Oppenheimer. I, I'm really yeah, excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really I want, excited I want that depression. I want that nuclear warfare. Barbie smoked Oppenheimer. I mean, what? Country music being the most popular music in the world? In America? That's not true. Yeah, no. Country music. Con- li- li- make, make no mistake. Country music is the biggest thing in the world. It's not true. Mor- Morgan, not in the Mor- world. Mor- bro, bro, listen. No, that's not what I mean. I just mean M- Morgan Wallen, dude. It is the biggest fucking bro. When I went to Wrigley Stadium and saw this dude sell out two nights in a row, seventy thousand fucking people, solo act. We're not talking about openers. We're not talking about Rolling Loud. Shout out Rolling Loud. This dude is single handedly. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah, that fucking music festival from last week really wanted you to. Give them a shout out. Well, we had a fucking trailer at it, so I just figured out. Oh, yeah, that's nice then. Shout out Rolling Loud. Um, yeah, oh, correct. So hip hop, hip hop, hip hop is having a. <clears throat> I got my truck. I got my gun. I'm out back. I'm having fun. We're going fishing. Don't wash the dishes. I like to hunt. I like to fuck. I'm a country man. I got my jeans and driving Wrangler. You can't, I think you're gonna get uh, copyright. I'm, I, I'm I, making that up on the spot. That's not true. That was off the cuff. That's not true. That's a actual song. That's a country song that's popular on the radio. Let me right tell you now. what country song that was. All of them. There's no way you came up. <laughs> With such a genius country song, that was <laughs> the country. No, you're gonna get co- like, no, you're gonna get copyrighted. That was Morgan Wallen. I can I can go again. I know that song. Is that called B- Big Red Truck? That's the one, and that's by the way named Clifford. <laughs> no, that's Big Red Dog. Oh. Uh, there was a woman on a American Airlines flight. Yeah, right. Okay, th- this one, this feels good. This feels good because I got a lot of questions here. A woman aboard an American Airlines flight from Dallas-Fort Worth to Orlando caused a significant disruption, loudly declaring that another passenger was, quote-unquote, not real. I, then I found out what she meant by that. I found out what she meant by that. What did she mean by it? He was a non-player character, and he was sitting in the back saying, Mmm, ice cream's so good. Got me from the cowgirl. <laughs> and he was talking. <laughs> well, bro, bro, what? So what, what is this? A topical so, so the, events the podcast? What I'm, are you doing? I'm a huge fan of topical events. Yeah, but yeah, but this is old news, and also yeah. there's a bunch of crazy people. There's a bunch of crazy people. I saw, especially at the airport. I saw this video of this girl getting arrested at the airport, and she was yelling at the cops because the cop wouldn't kiss her. She's like, "You don't That's, think I'm sexy? What? Kiss me." Well, that seems fair. You don't think I'm sexy? There's a lot of there's a lot of wacky shit that happens on planes because now you're mixing people getting drunk before the flight. They take meds to sleep or something, and you mix all that stuff, and then all of a sudden, people aren't real. (laughs) (laughs) You're 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 a couple drinks away from people not being real. Yeah. There was a guy on a on a Chinese uh, China uh, Airlines flight. That's not China Airlines. I don't know. It's a Chinese flight. A flight from China. Yeah. A Chinese flight. It's Uh a flight filled with Chinese people. Okay. I don't know how to message this exactly, but there was many Chinese people on a plane. So it was a, in my eyes, it was a Chinese flight. A Chinese, <laughs> one of the Chinese yeah, airlines. Chinese, what do they eat on the Chinese flights? <clears throat> Chinese food. Ch- Chinese food. So, so anyways, there was a Chinese flight and there was a guy on the flight screaming that he was in his sixth cycle and he had seen that this plane wasn't going to make it to its next destination. Well, you can't say that on a plane. And it caused a massive uproar, and they pulled the guy off the plane. I mean, the, the content coming off, and, but here's the question. It begs the question. His final destination it, real. It, 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 was he right? 
if that plane had taken off, would would what he said have happened? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, like, like there. So, so I, I find this. I find effect. no, I'm not. I, I'm just saying this. I find it funny that if I ask the internet right now to tell me the exact make and size of your pants, they could provide that information immediately. But if I ask them who that woman was who had the knowledge that that man was not real, the internet still has not found out who this woman is. The internet identifies everyone. So, so you're telling me that the corrupt corporate owned government that we exist under who, who not 9-11, Epstein didn't kill himself. Mm -hmm. Clip that. That's All it. of it. That's it. Yeah. What about, well, you didn't say anything just now. You know what sucks? We had a great podcast, and this last 10 is just... <laughs> it's been hard. Just I'm running out of time. Oh, shit. Bro, I've been feeding you guys. Ask Jeff something, dude. What do you got going on? Uh, you flew out here with your new girlfriend, right? I'm careful with the term, but yes. Okay, I'll the be, new I'll, girl you're dating. Yep. You well, got yourself a first-class ticket, and you put her in economy? How do you go about that? Yo. Let me, let me, do you... <laughs> so, listen, Mike, because you make a lot of money, right? Um, that's subjective, I guess. But, <laughs> like I look at Kai Sanat. Like Kai Sanat makes a lot of money. Okay, so XQC makes a lot of money. I know Logan says he doesn't, but XQC what's the deal? Makes a Fuck! Lot of money. I gotta stop being mean to you because your mom called me. She got mad. She, oh, she's she pissed right now. She's watching to, this like, right now, putting you on. It's a list, just an like, interesting topic, you know. Sorry, Robin. Happy but, to happy to have the conversation. But she probably thinks you're right. You know, why would he be spending all this money to get her? She's a smaller person. Maybe she. It doesn't matter if she's in a middle seat in the back of the she's plane. Not a dwarf. She would have liked first class. She, I'm, I'm, was, I'm, were there you know, no other what? seats available? Is there only I am one? Curious why I'm you happy that. to have the conversation. Did you offer to share it like half the I flight? I believe it's three I, hours. I, no, I, I believe it's a. Uh, I, I run a, on a similar vesting schedule as your prenup. <laughs> I, 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 I'll be honest. If you think within two weeks of knowing me as a human that I am putting you in a three thousand dollar that's LAX, when you do that stuff no, in the it's beginning. Not. So it's you like, want to know what that's called, buddy? Setting a poor precedent. Because guess what? When she says, okay, you're right, when you're right. she so says to you, to that. when she says to you, wow, or when she says to herself, wow, he hasn't upgraded my fi my status in this relationship in a long time because I started her off in first class on Emirates to fucking Dubai. No, she's going to start off with, with David mm -hmm. in 33C, okay? <laughs> and, and by the way, it's a five-hour flight. David flies business when we when we cross the ocean most of the time. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was a very expensive flight. If it had been a seven hundred dollar mint fare, she would be in first class with me. It was I, it was three thousand dollars. I, I want to say I think that's fair. Okay, I totally see your point. When does she vest the business? <laughs> like I, when I, is I, it time? I, I think it's. I think okay. So I'll say this. I think it's. I think it's rate dependent. And I also. <laughs> I also will say this. You, you know me. I, I'm. I. I like to make sure that I'm fiscally responsible. Hey, you're a stickler, dude. I, there is a better chance. You are a cheapskate, though. Don't cheap say skate, that. Please, please, can I finish the statement and then you can say whatever mean <laughs> thing okay. you're going to say next. Okay. My mom's watching. Me. I know, I know. I'm sorry, I, Robin. I, there, is, there is a chance, there is a, a, a high probability that she would see me slide back to econ with her as opposed to. Hey, Whoa. I'll come. Hey, I'll come sit with you. I think. I, I, do you want to know? I could see do, that happening. Do you want to know why? I, do you want to, especially ticket. for a four and a half hour flight to Miami? Do you want to know why I didn't do that? There was only middle seats left. I couldn't. I couldn't sit with her. David sat in middle. She sat in middle. Couldn't. couldn't there was no seats left. Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. So it, it put me in a bad position. Like, was I? Can I drop three thousand on this very sweet Latina's first class seat? Absolutely, I can. Of, of course, I can. But did I want to set that precedent right off the bat? I've been flying her all over the world recently. Yeah. She's been in every state, city, and country. Jeff, yeah. what did you want to say that was mean? Um, I forgot. Perfect. Uh, oh, cheapskate, you're cheapskate. Yep. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's getting ridiculous because uh -huh. you're making more and more money every year, but you get cheaper. You get cheaper every single time. Like, I mean, last night. Go ahead, bring it know, up. Last, I know it's on last the tip night, of your tongue. I know it's night. burning in your bloodstream, Last buddy. night, right? I get in. I'm tired. I flew you know, economy, too. You know, middle seat. I want to go to sleep. You're like, no, bro, come to dinner. Come, just fucking, just fucking come to dinner. Come to dinner. Mike brings, you know, a group of girls, and they run up a tab, drinks, bottles, fucking all That's this. That's not true. You know, champagne coming That's over to the table. I don't drink, so I'm just sitting there like, fuck, man. I should have just stayed in. Bill comes. He's like, yo, card. Give me your card. I'm like, I, you know, I'm perfectly fine with with splitting the bill, 
but I was dragged there. You know, you invite me out. It's your party, your thing. I'm helping you out, wingman, and you cover. Fucking pick up the check. You, okay, you're bringing up a very personal? interesting topic. No, not personal by any means. You're a cheapskate. <laughs> okay, there's no really to go let me, here. Let me, you know, no, I'm no, to no, up topics no. And I, it's so I, I just, I end it. I, I, no, no, that's close fine. The book. But let me just let fucking me just judge. Say slam let the me hammer. Just say this. You are a lousy. Cheapskate. Anybody that goes to those type of dinners, yeah. knows that regardless of what you ate, drank, or whatever, girls generally do not pay, mm -hmm. and the men usually split the bill. It, 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 it's generally the case. Like, what did you have? He had some food, but not a lot. I had just he, the bread. He, no, but. No, you had, some you had some dumpling. You had some wagyu dumpling. He was counting my bites. He's counting my bites. <laughs> Bro, it's either fucking pick it up or pass it to me. Just be like, yo, this is on you. You're lucky to be here. You had 37 bites of food last night. I counted I know every single you fucking, fucking one of them. them. And you, you had two them. bottles of uh, sparkling. Look, I don't want to play this game where we just expose <laughs> no, each no, other no, for no, shit no. that happens That's in not, real no, life. No, no, no. It's fair. It's fair. And by the way... I, I I did, as you know, cover a little bit more, and I also tried to- $70 and, more. No, no, $70. that's not true. And I also tried to hand you cash, and you said you didn't want it. Yeah, because that's how I roll. <laughs> Fucking- He'd rather have it. the story. He'd I'd rather, rather have the story, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, because now we got a leg up. We can talk shit about you. Uh-huh. Get the audience to turn on you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Um, <laughs> you see Nelk and Andrew Schultz speaking of, uh, of like calling you a cheat yep. over here. Yep. So I watched that podcast, and it was just, it's so interesting to me to see how that all went down with Steiny <sighs> and Andrew Schultz. Did you see anything about I, it? Yeah. I, I did see it. Man, that was that was brutal. I love it. He got Schultz. pulverized. It was, it was I a love fun Andrew watch. Schultz it was so a fun, much. He go, a he fun go, watch. He goes, nah, that's what you should be doing. You're getting your moments. Yeah, Get yeah, your moments, yeah. Champ. Yeah. The, the interesting thing about that show was Andrew, you know, obviously the main core of the discussion is on Steiny. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to talk about Steiny, about the, why the episode didn't air, so on and so forth. But Andrew, I've, I don't think I've ever seen Andrew come to a show with that type of energy before. Yeah, yeah. I, and, and, and I, and I Do know- Do you know the situation? I, yeah, I know there was some stuff that happened before the show. No, no, no. Dude, Kyle has done an excellent job of building a brand. I've always had difficulty like vibing with him he's i i, I don't when he I when kyle he started kyle, a podcast I, I, I thought how how is he gonna do this mm -hmm. and they've done an incredible job and somehow stayed afloat but when andrew went on that podcast and said what he said during and after i said to myself how is this not the sentiment for every single sh show well, that they have yeah 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 so i watched the whole thing i watched from the beginning and i think kyle and steve were very respectful right off the bat this and andrew fucking, andrew, andrew no 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 because i fucking like kyle i like kyle i just i i've no, never no, found no, him no, listen, like listen, a, like listen. A talker, i don't I'm, think listen, he i don't the think the only person we're bullying bullying here is stein no no hold on jeff jeff let me i want to i want to i want to get the broom out for a second and work with you on this they don't, they are, they, Kyle is not claiming to have a, 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 it's not a podcast. It's like you sit down with a bunch of homies and you bullshit. Their, their but show Schultz is very, was, their show is very to loose. Like homies together. Like, maybe, like, maybe they didn't, ha maybe, dude, let me, let me ask you this question. How many shows have we had where we did a 10 p.m. episode? The vibe was just off. There was, and, and, and now, yes, sure, let's take it as a testament to the fact that we are very strong podcasters. We pulled it together. We made it look great. But we have been through many shows where the vibe was off. Maybe they were having a bad day. You got to walk before you run. You know? What does and that mean? I, Listen, I mean, like, they... At that time, early on, they had jumped into becoming one of the biggest shows without ever doing it. Yeah, I agree like with that. that. Agree with that. And obviously, like we were fans of podcasts before we started podcasting. We're in, in the entertainment business. You know, we've been around. We know how to talk to people. We know how to deal with people in tense situations. You know, we've all there been have there. been guests who have walked on this show where I hadn't heard of them until the day before the podcast. Yeah. And guess what I did? significant amount of research yeah, yeah, so i would yeah. make the guests feel welcome yeah, appreciated yeah. respected yeah. and relevant on my fucking show that i'm invited him on yeah but yeah. not andrew, only that is like andrew schultz is massive. not just a guy like he's yeah. highly entertaining he's very good at what he does Sharp like, from new york come on, from the bro. fucking show dude you don't even have to know about his career to have mm -hmm. a good conversation well that's what that no but 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 i believe that maybe that's what their sentiment was we can roll into this la lackadaisical <laughs> and and and, okay. and 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 regardless it's andrew schultz they probably they could have yeah. sat on that couch and said andrew schultz is going to steer this thing to five million views for us but listen, we have to do listen, nothing listen. and going back to what i said 
I don't know what the reason was, but it was apparent from the start of that show that Andrew was not his normal, energetic, high vibrating mm -hmm. self. Mm -hmm. He just wasn't. Mm -hmm. And so if you are relying on the power of the guest, Andrew came on our show and weaved one of the most exciting narratives for 500 different stories. He's an incredible fucking guest. And if, and if someone comes to your show and they, and they don't, show up the same way you've expected them to show up, it can throw a major dagger. Now, of course, like I said, as a testament, I am always ready. If that guest stops talking, I am always ready. I'm always packed with a question. I know my fucking shit, mm -hmm. always. And, and he's ready too. Not for Jerry so, Perp drink. Not for Jerry Perp drink. But, but, <laughs> but I, I've, I've said a lot of it too comes down to chemistry. Comes down to chemistry between co-hosts. I was pushing for Bradley Martin to be on every fucking show since that podcast started. I told Kyle, I told Bradley, I told John Shahidi. Bradley Martin needs to be on that fucking show. He's an incredible fucking podcast host. What? He was I, void I, I, from I, I, that I, I episode. I gotta say something about Bradley. Yep. I think you're getting lame. I think you're getting lame as a person or a person who's either searching for clicks. <laughs> Start those beefs. Nah, Start because bro, hey, look, I, I, I see what he's doing, but I just think it's weird. Like he had Nate Diaz, who mm -hmm. my brother's yeah, fighting yeah, on August 5th yeah, on his podcast. Yeah. And like in the same sentence, he's like, yeah, you know, I'm cool with Jake. I like Jake. You know, I just hope you beat his ass. I just want to see him get his ass beat. I want to see him get turned into a meme. Why, Bradley? You're cool with us. He's in the family. You even said yourself you like him. Why say that? Are you searching for clicks? Even the way you're talking about street fighting Nate, like, bro, you're not going to beat Nate Diaz in a street fight. You're just searching for clicks? Well, what if he and, is? And if, if he is? Yeah, what if he is? I think he's lame. I okay, think you're better okay, than that, Bradley. Okay, okay. I, think you're, I think you're a cool fucking guy. You're a well-versed guy. You, you have your own podcast. You're great on the Nelk podcast. podcast. You're good at talking. You're likable. You're not a guy who has to like create beefs to be cool or relevant, this especially especially when it comes to like Jake. Like you guys are cool. Why why would you, why would you say that? Sometimes people like just like to see chaos and see the world burn, you know? I, like, I think it's lame. I think it's better than that. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. This is an Well, we started this off is... saying Bradley was good, now we're going no, Bradley. No, stop. He said that. He said that. I think he's a great podcast. No, you know, yeah. I think I think his his current take online on certain things is 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 very reachy. You're, you're reaching for that attention, you're reaching for that clout, you're trying to get that headline and for people who you have real life relationships with, sacrificing one for the other is fucking lame. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, the good thing about what you just said is I fly back to LA on Monday and go straight to this podcast. Nice. So, so and I'm, I'm having Steiny on. No, 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 so no. So, so the funny thing is he'll actually get to respond to this clip with me on the show and he'll have a response to it, which is which is fantastic. Yeah, but can you make sure his response is is based on no, 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 no. like because the current climate? Sure, like, sure. Like, look, and I, I, I. I'm saying it's lame because I've done it. I've been there, dude. I've been in a position where I'm like, I'm just gonna fucking do the crazy shit I can to get clicks, and it's fucking lame. Okay, You're but, lame but, spot but, in your but, life but if you need to do that. But okay, let me let me ask you this question. Th this is this is a very interesting conversation because as someone who has been there, maybe you harness the empathy to understand what this career is like in the space and why you may be put in a position to have to do that type of thing because you've been in that position before. And, and, and so you know why at certain points in your career, whether it's algorithm, whether it's a breakup, whether it's this thing, that thing, whatever. You know what Bradley you, needs? Bradley, you gotta be humbled. That's what you need. It doesn't sound like you've had it yet. And I, I will invite you to Puerto Rico to spar with me to be humbled. He would, he'll do it. Bradley's a, Bradley's no, he a tough, he'll no, he do won't. it. Bradley. If you're serious, I'm inviting you to come to Puerto Rico to promote my next upcoming fight, and I will spar you, and I will there fucking you humble your ass. That's what if how he problems are solved. It's going to be posted. Be solved. It's going to be posted. That's good. Facts is going to be posted. You can post it. I don't give a fuck, but you got to be humble, my man, because you're running your mouth about my brother, and someone needs to take care of you. Mm -hmm. What if he just and doesn't like... What if he just... And by the way... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I really want to help Steiny in that situation because I think, you know, he's a kid from Canada. He didn't know what he was getting into. All of a sudden, you're interviewing Elon Musk. You know, he's getting thrown in that this That is thing crazy. That's with crazy. A, a New York <laughs> fucking comedian that yeah. literally, he looks at people like that. He wants to tear them apart. Yeah. What, did, what, know, did, like, like, what did Andrew say like, about Steiny? He said he has had. He has oh, he had, broke him down. No, he no. He had, he said one statement, which was which was insane. He said he's had the longest unwarranted 
run for someone with no talent that he's ever seen in his entire life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or so, and or something. Which, feeding which, into it. He's like, why do you think that about no, me? No, 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 hold on, hold on. That's, that's the internet. internet. No, that's yes, the internet. correct. That's talent, the climate. Talent, <laughs> talent, <laughs> shit. correct. Talent is not indicative or representative of success in this environment it's anymore. Not. It's, it's not. not. It is It is how many, and, and that's not me agreeing and saying that Stein is talentless. I don't give a fuck if he has talent or not. This is an unbiased point right here. If you can drive viewership and clicks, and, and, and controversy, mm -hmm. you are doing what needs to be done in this current internet climate. That's right. And and and, and Steiny, for whatever reason, be, maybe it's because he says stupid fucking shit, doesn't prep for the guest, you know, pisses people off, whatever. <laughs> people are shtick. watching. Yeah, that's, they're commenting. that's what he does. Do you know if you go under the comments on an elk video, it, there's a war in every fucking note. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not, we love Kyle. Kyle's such a good guy. He's the brains of the operation. We support him. It's fuck Steiny, kill Steiny. Get Steiny off the show, and we I love Steiny. Steiny's the best. Hey, does Stiney's any of this get, sound familiar yeah. to you? That's you. 100%. We've been through all of 100%. it. 100%. It's the name of the game, 100%. bro. That's what we're here to do. We're here to make commentary and then have people comment on our commentary. We are fucking sheep. We are well, ants. Okay. We're in an ant, I, I, we're in an ant colony. Us too. We're just stupid yeah, humans I know that. running around I know that. building the, the machines that will take us out. I, I, I want to- Primate I wanna, went to man. Man will become machine. Man will become irrelevant and non-existent. These are these are facts. This is where we're headed. Enjoy your time on this earth. Eat your vitamins. Drink your prime. Pray to your God. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Impulsive. We love you. That was a wild one. That was crazy. If you're not subscribed, hit, Felt that, hit good. that subscribe Felt button. Felt good. That's a good boys only episode. We're, yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. we're back, boys. And Jeff, as always, fucking thank you, bro. Thanks for coming to Miami. Thank you, Jeff. For the Middle seat. Yeah. Paying out of your own pocket. <laughs> you don't even have to. We told you yeah, we'd you, pay for your travel. You no, know, you don't have to. Wait, what? We're not? Oh, we got to cover your chat. Right. I'd rather we'll just, cover you know. Job. No, because then he has a story. So when he, why could it pause him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I didn't even pay for my flights. I'm flying myself out I there. just can't, because then I have to start answering the mic. Yeah. Right now, my thing is, you don't fucking pay me. I don't work for you. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you know? totally. Yeah, as soon as you take a favor, <laughs> you're fucked. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, actually, you know, you do. And you do have to do what I say. <laughs> nope, then I'm out. I walk. I walk. 100%. Bradley Martin, I'll see you in August. Steiny, I'll see you this week. You know? All right, all right, all right. Bye, guys. We love you. Peace.